When I say simple, I'm not saying basic. This really looks put together, but it's simple to do. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. She's French and if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you don't know, my name is Jenna. I'm a French girl based out of California and I make videos about curating your life French girl style. So if you're not yet subscribed, I would love to invite you to subscribe. And also if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at she's French, so just like this channel. So for today's video, I am so excited. I'm going to be styling my new blazer. So let me show it to you first. Here it is. It's a really beautiful, very simple, boxy blazer. It's definitely an oversized or kind of boyfriend style blazer. It does have shoulder pads, it falls straight has the beautiful kind of menswear pockets and then the single button. I love the way that it's cut and just the way that it drapes on the body. You guys, finding the perfect blazer is not for the faint of heart. Let me tell you, and I feel like this is a recurring theme in my life, but really, it took me a really, really long time to find the perfect blazer. Of course, a blazer is a classic. I feel like everybody should have a good blazer in their closet or maybe one or two, maybe one in a light color finding a good fit was hard and I actually tried a blazer about a year ago and then I gave up I got discouraged it was a much more expensive blazer it was from the Frankie shop and that blazer was so huge it was one size I thought it was going to be perfect I thought it was going to be a dream come true the perfect blazer because it was marketed to be like the oversized fit that I was looking for that blazer was so so big just didn't work and i was like wow if the frankie shop can't do it then maybe the perfect blazer for me just doesn't exist but anyway flash forward to now <laughs> this is random i go to the mall to get my coffee because i have an espresso machine there's an abercrombie store that is right there so i walk past it all the time and slowly but surely i've been looking at their window like huh, they have some pretty good blazers. Oh, like their cuts are looking good, things like that. Next thing I know, I looked on their website and found this one. So not only is this the perfect fit for my body anyway, but the price was so good. I got this on sale and then had an additional coupon. So I think I paid about $70 for it, which is just crazy because it really does fit really well. And it does have really beautiful construction. You guys know that I'm a major perfectionist and I really look at the details on everything. So trust me, I've analyzed this and I think it's just so good. They should still be available. So I'll link it below if you're interested, not sponsored, just trying to be helpful. So anyway, let's style a couple outfits. I'm so excited. I've been looking for this for so long because I knew that it would just be the perfect thing to throw over basically my entire closet. You guys know that I have my tiny minimalist closet and I always tell you that I can really make everything work together and I already know that this is just gonna finish off so many outfits. So yeah, enough talking, let's go build some outfits. All right, so for the first, I figured we would do something super simple and when I say simple, I'm not saying basic. This really looks put together, but it's simple to do. I feel like everybody has something in their closet that can recreate this, so it's really easy to create. But then look, you put the blazer on and you have like a really finished outfit. So I have the blazer, of course, this little tank top, just like this, super simple. This is also Abercrombie. And with tops like this that are really good basics that I plan to wear under jackets, I like to size down a couple of sizes so that they fit really tight. For me, there's nothing worse than putting something under and it bunches. So this, I think I got in a 2XS. Normally my size is probably small or medium, but I wanted it to feel really tight and just kind of disappear under clothing. The next piece are these shorts. These are my favorite go-to shorts from Target. I think these were something like $15 such a good price for pieces like these i don't like to spend too much because they're such staples and they get so much wear that i don't really want to be heartbroken if i have to replace them this is very easy to replace so is this but they work so well in the closet i feel like these are really really essential to building little simple outfits like this and this kind of actually brings me back to when i was telling you guys that if you're trying to create a minimalist closet, I think starting with jackets is really powerful and gives you a lot of variety because you can do a lot with these two and then change the vibe entirely depending on what jacket you put on. So 
that's what I really recommend. It also depends on the climate, but I think you can have very cool jackets for any climate too. So then I have it paired with my new baby, my Chanel backpack, and this is my only bag, so it's pretty much going to be paired with everything. But that's actually why I got it, because I just think it goes with everything, it's perfect. If you can find that perfect bag to have in your closet, you really don't need a collection of bags. And I mean, this one is so good. I really think it does it all. So personally, I think that I'm set with this one. Of course, I love bags and shoes and they're a lot of fun to look at. And definitely something that I, would, I wouldn't restrict myself from not having more of, but really this one does do it all. So let me pan over to the mirror so that I can show you everything with the shoes. Okay, so here it is so simple so striking i mean this is such a full outfit and i feel like it looks like you spent time on this like you're really trying to decide and look really put together but literally tank top shorts and the blazer your little cute bag over the top like i said this is my go-to and the only bag but i think it just goes perfectly and then for shoes i have my balenciaga track sneakers i just love white shoes with all black but i also love a chunky shoe something a little bit more rugged with like a very proper outfit i feel like most of my outfits kind of have like a little bit of a proper element so i just love how it looks so yeah i feel like you're comfortable you're casual but you're so put together i also pulled out the heels because i wanted to show you with the heels on too this is a really good day to night outfit you could just be out and about and maybe you have a date later or i don't know maybe you're going out for dinner or something just put some heels on and you have a totally different vibe it's so easy you guys i mean what <laughs> changing the shoes completely transforms the outfit it looks so sophisticated now very fancy i want to say but how easy you guys know i rave about these shoes non-stop i love the bare style sandals i feel like they're so flattering they're so easy to wear these really do go with everything for me i love them so much so that was number one okay so this one is a fun one i don't know that this is super wearable for every day but if you have an event, maybe a date, something exciting that you want to dress up for, I feel like this one's perfect. And I don't know, I just love experimenting. I love how this looks. This was actually inspired by Shay from the French show on Netflix, Rhythm and Flow. I really recommend watching it. It's like a rap competition. So of course, understanding French really helps with the overall show. But if you watch it, and you don't understand the rap, I would say watch it just purely for the fashion. The judges on that show just look immaculate. So Shay on the show actually wore something just like this. She actually had this sweater in black. This is my new baby. I love this sweater so much. But she wore it just like this, open. Hers was black, but very similar vibes. Exact same thing and then had a beautiful blazer on top. I feel like hers might've been Mugler. I don't know, it was cut perfectly on her. It was so stunning. I loved the little flash of gold coming through and then the blazer over it was just so chic. So to recreate it, I have mine. I actually like the white. It doesn't bother me because I paired it with my white heels. So I think that it matches really well. And honestly with black, black and ivory, you can't really go wrong with it. So I think it works. I closed it not only for the style of it being closed, but also because keeping it closed keeps everything up here on you and not gaping open as well. And then I have those same Target shorts that are perfect for under and then those white heels. And then I told you guys this is the only bag in the closet, the bag, so paired it with it as well. I just feel like this bag just goes with everything. So here's the look. Let me show you in the mirror so you can see the whole thing. So of course for this one, I saw that she had this. I happen to have it, so it was really easy for me to recreate. But it doesn't mean that you can't do it. I don't think that it's all about it being Jacquemus. I think what looks so good about this is that there's a little something pretty to look at right here. I think you could do this with a really beautiful bralette, maybe a white one or like a lacy one. I think anything that kind of has a little detail here would work perfectly. So here it is from further. So I have the white heels, my go 
go-tos, they go with everything. I love how the white kind of catches on the little white here, but then also the white here. And then of course the bag, I just love the detail that the chains add. And then of course the bag is black, so it kind of just disappears, but looks really chic. So here's outfit number two. I was so excited to recreate this one. I'm obsessed. Okay, here's outfit number three, kind of a take on the first outfit but I think a little bit more interesting. So under the blazer, I put on my favorite shirt. This one's from RUMI. It goes up into your turtleneck here. I have it on with my black shorts from Target. I told you guys, these go with everything. I like to wear these with these kind of tops that are cut a little bit higher because these go up pretty high, so I like to kind of bridge the gap. I don't like to have everything on display. So I feel like this is a good crop. Also, I just had a baby, so sometimes I'm not trying to show everything. I'm still working on my core and so on. So this is perfect for me. So yeah, the blazer open like this, the bag kind of over the shoulder more casually. And then I have the chunky white sneakers. I'm gonna show you in the mirror. So here is in the mirror, I mean, I wear 99% black all the time, so it does kind of blend together, but in person, you can absolutely see all the little details, and that's what I live for. So of course, you have the turtleneck. I love that detail. I love turtlenecks with jackets. I, I love turtlenecks with everything. I live for turtlenecks. Then you have the little ruffles here. The shorts are ribbed. You can barely tell, but I just love the length of the blazer over the shorts. The bag just works, works with everything. I'm so in love with this bag. And then the chunky white shoes. I feel like they just work by default. It's what I was saying with the first outfit, the kind of rugged, chunky shoe, especially white to kind of freshen up everything. But then the contrast with the formal sleek blazer is just like mwah, chef's kiss i love it so that is number three all right last but not least i think this might be my favorite and it's actually the most experimental of the outfits i love this one so much so this one is actually my nike workout one piece there's no wire to this it's just the stitching it kind of looks like a corset and then it carries all the way down as leggings. So this is fully from top to bottom. And I don't know what it is about this, but I feel like it works so well with the blazer. So I just threw on the blazer. And for this, I kind of wanted to test, like, can you just throw on something on the go, throw the blazer on and create like a complete outfit? And I really think you can. So just the blazer, same bag. And then I have the Balenciaga sneakers. So let me show you in the mirror. All right, so here it is. I'm literally obsessed. The vibe for this is kind of like I just throw everything on. I'm in a rush. I gotta go, but I want to look good. So yeah, just bunch of socks, sneakers. We have the worn piece, and it has all of like the sporty stitching, those details. But I think that really works as like a really good contrast with the fancy blazer. So then the blazer just open, cute bag just thrown on the shoulder and ready to go. But what? Tell me which outfit was your favorite, you guys. I think this might be mine. I also love the first outfit. I love the simplicity, but I feel like this one's really cool. So yeah, let me know what you think. I'd love to know. So yeah, I feel like this was the perfect last outfit. I'm obsessed. I might wear this today. It might just be a little bit hot, but honestly, this is something I wear all the time. I can wear it just without the blazer too, but I do love it with the blazer the most. And I'm back. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I have so much fun filming styling content. I think it's my favorite thing to film. It's a lot of work. Surprisingly, it actually takes a lot of time, but I just really enjoy it. And I'm always telling you guys that, hey, you can have a tiny closet. You can make it work. You can have variety. You can look stylish. So I figured I should definitely show you that it's true. And I do make mine work like that and kind of really show it in action because I think that's much more helpful than just me holding up pieces like yes I love this and it works like you can actually see that it works or I think so anyway so if you're not yet subscribed I would love to invite you to subscribe and also if you'd like to check me out on Instagram my Instagram is at she's French just like the channel and I will catch you in the next video bye guys yeah.